Tonight, former District Attorney Seth Williams is speaking out after he himself served time in federal prison. Williams explains to investigative reporter Claudia Vargas why that experience should have people listening to him now. It would be wrong of me uh, to see the level of gun, gun violence that we see um, and not do something about it, to remain silent, despite me being uh, a felon. The former Philadelphia district attorney says despite his years in law enforcement, it's the perspective he gained in prison that makes him a credible voice on criminal justice reform. It took me to go to jail to really learn what I think are the ways that we have to go about preventing crime and reducing recidivism. In 2010, Seth Williams made history as Philadelphia's first black district attorney. And in his first few years in office, he had a number of successes, including helping reduce gun violence. But his victories were wiped away when he pleaded guilty to corruption in 2017. I lost my law license, I lost my house, my reputation, elected office, my home, my pensions, my military career. While in federal prison, he says, he learned that locking people up isn't the answer to preventing crime. Provide community-based mental health care before people act out, not waiting for them to act out. William says many of the people he met in prison lack skills and ability to maintain legal employment. We have to do all that we can to teach people those work readiness skills, show up on time, conflict resolution, right, literacy skills. Williams returned home last April. Now he's back in the public eye, tweeting daily about crime and justice. I'm a voice trying to say we need to do more. Right, but I guess somebody would push back and say, like, what good is a voice if you're not actually doing something about it? Oh, well, I'm, I'm doing what I can. We spoke with Williams at the Philadelphia Anti-Drug, Anti-Violence Network, known as PAN. He's working as a consultant with the organization, using his professional experience and life behind bars to educate young people. The majority of what I do uh, currently is with uh, youth that are in diversionary programs, and we have Zoom meetings, and we try to talk to them. Um, and so uh, just a direct intervention. He says some members of city council and the police department have been calling him for advice on criminal justice. Just to pick my brain about what I think um, would work. Williams has no intention to leave Philly, a place he says he loves. He also has no plans to fade into the distance anytime soon. Um, I could easily just go hide in a hole somewhere. Um, some people might like that. Uh, but I think the best use of all that's happened to me um, is to speak up and out about ways that we can help prevent crime. Another thing that Williams has done since returning home from prison is he got certified to officiate weddings in Pennsylvania. It's another part-time gig that will help him slowly pay off the tens of thousands of dollars that he owes in restitution and fines. Claudia, what about the time when he was DA and some of his policies and practices in that job put a number of people in prison who he's now saying would benefit from criminal justice reform? Right. When we asked him that, he responded with a Maya Angelou quote saying, I did then what I knew how to do. Now that I know better, I do better. 